Mrs. Beatrice Ebonanu Ona. The value of a life is not in its duration, but in its donation. So the wise saying goes. The life of Mrs. Beatrice Ebonanu Ona has been a beautiful sonnet of love, selfless living, godliness, and exemplary service to humanity. I, I just see her, you know, somebody who is like a champion. You know, she has, she's a champion to so many people I've seen. She stand for the poor, stand for the needless, stand for the homeless. Anytime you come to her, she's ready, ready to listen to you. You know, my mother was given. I, I used to tell her that, mommy, it's like giving is your ministry. She was successful, but she was never selfish. Her donation to the happiness well-being and prosperity of all that came her way cannot be quantified easily, if at all. She was generous. She is a woman of unparalleled generosity. Everyone that came into her life got blessings from her, financially and otherwise. If love is a crime, I think mommy committed the most. Because her love has no boundary. Whether you are Igbo or you are Hausa, or you are Yoruba, or you are from Niger, anywhere you come from, as long as you have need, you are a candidate. She trained a lot of people, not her own biological children, relative children, friends' children. And if we are to count the number of persons this woman we are talking about today touched, we can't count them all. Both within Lagos, in her place of birth, Owabi, and then at her husband's place, Otabuno, the whole of Ndokwa, the whole of Delta State, the whole of Nigeria. Very kind woman. She's a very, very liberal. And that's what the Bible says. The liberal soul shall be made fat. And he that water it shall be watered also himself. That's the scripture. That is Mommy Ona for you. Madam Beatrice Ebonani Ona was born on the 21st of January. 1944 to late Robert Anigala Obodugu of Ufeli family and late Elizabeth Omogo Obodugu of Elube family. Both father and mother were from Abbey in Ndogwa West local government area of Delta State, Nigeria. In 1959, Madam Beatrice obtained her standard six certificate from RCM school of the Aruku from there, she proceeded to Ogume to attend modern school, where she graduated in 1962. She taught briefly at Otuele Primary School, Emu Ebendo, before going on to attend Pilgrim Baptist Teachers Training College, Iseluku, where she bagged a grade 2 certificate in 1969. Years later, in 1980, Madam Beatrice attended Southern Polytechnic in New Delhi, India and obtained a HD certificate in home economics. Madam Beatrice began her professional career as a teacher at Seme School, now Emeni Primary School at Obiaruku. In 1973, she went on to join her husband in Lagos and thereon went to teach at Ireti Girls School, Ikui. Later on, she was transferred to Ladylike Primary School, Apapa. Years later, on her return from India, she took early retirement from her teaching profession and went into business. And this she engaged in for the rest of her life. Madame Beatrice distinguished herself as a successful businesswoman. Late Mrs. Beatrice Ebonanu Ona was married to Rear Admiral Michael O. Ona, and together they were blessed with six wonderful children, three boys and three girls. As a wife, she displayed virtuous and laudable qualities that remain cherished by her beloved husband. She was a pillar of support for him, especially in his military career, as she was staunchly by his side wherever duty took him.
As a mother, she gave herself to raising her children in the way of the Lord, and most importantly, living what she taught. A very good mother that has been there for the children, for all of them she has been so close to them, monitoring and making sure they are what they are today. So I just wanted to say thank you mommy for such a, being such a wonderful mother, being such a godly person, being such a wonderful wife. Mommy, God bless you. Thank you for teaching me to be a woman that will work hard, support her family, love her family, pray for her family, pray for her husband, bless her husband, and be good to them so that we too can leave a legacy like the one you've left behind. You were hardworking, you were strong, you were a warrior. One outstanding quality that will never be forgotten about Mrs. Beatrice Ebonano Ona is her selflessness towards all that came her way. Madam Beatrice gave food to the hungry, water to the thirsty, shelter to the homeless, and hope to the disadvantaged. A very good woman. And when I mean good, very good, was a virtuous woman. She's a very loving person. A very selfless woman. Very, very selfless. A philanthropist, she is, and she cares for people around her. She is able to carry everyone along. I don't know how she does it. Humility is her watchword. She doesn't discriminate. There was no discrimination. You know, you don't you won't know which one is her blood relative or which is not her blood relative. Whether class, age, or this. At her position, she accepts you the way you are. Or her position traveled almost all over the world. Mommy's so humble. She's so humble to a fault. Her friends are the supposedly lonely people. She identifies with the less privileged. Those are the very people that she's so close to. Mommy Ona is an epistle that God has given to us to reach, to follow, and then to practice. The beautiful, generous soul that was Mrs. Beatrice Ebonano Ona will always be extolled for being hospitable, loving, and kind to all. And that's who my mother is, and she will never be forgotten. A great cook, she was well known for her open kitchen, where there was always food for everyone that visited. All I remembered was when she took me out to the market. She was a great cook. She cooked so well. When you eat whatever she cooks, you will enjoy yourself. You will be on the table with her. She will be the best part of the fish and meat on the table. And she will be so glad seeing you enjoying yourself. That's the type of person she is. Late Madame Beatrice's entire life was guided by her great reverence for God. Her love for Christ. Her love for the Bible. Her love for the things of God. Very passionate about anything she could see. And very, very God-fearing. Hunger for God. She was a, 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 a all-rounder for God. Committed to God. She was a tenacious believer. She loves the Lord. She really loves the Lord. She gave it all, her all. She left everything behind to follow Jesus. And she didn't do it by herself. She dragged her family along with her. When I say drag, I mean like literally dragged her family along with her. Not just her children, but her sisters, her brothers, her cousins, her other relatives. She just took everyone with her on that journey. So she took everyone to church. Whether you are visiting, you are in the house, wherever we are going to church, she never missed the weekday services. We all went in the same car. To Momiona is a sin to miss fellowship. That's Momiona for you. It's like a sin that today is Bible study, or today is revival hour, or today is Sunday. You can't even dream. You can't even imagine. Although she was baptized and confirmed into the Catholic faith, she later settled with the Deeper Life Bible Church till her death where her devotion and steadfastness to the faith was evidence to roll. She's a prayer warrior. When it comes to prayer, she had no equal. Because she's a warrior, she's a prayer. 
She, she, she said, I call her angel of prayer. I can call her prayer fire. Some years ago, I was sick and my wife phoned her and she came and she started praying. I think I was almost gone. And when I opened my eyes, I saw her sweating in prayer. And from that day, the healing came to me. Anything we want to do in the office, we first of all pray over it before we move ahead. Uh -huh. And I remember how she used to wake up early in the morning and ring her bell. And Gong. 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 really loud Gong. to wake us up so we could all gather together to pray. But her prayer life was a challenge to anybody, not only to me. Once you come in contact with Momiona, you must learn how to pray. In addition to her innumerable acts of charity, Mrs. Beatrice Ebonanu Ona was also passionate about the propagation of the gospel. Then when it comes to evangelism, this woman, they made me to use the word, was mad for God. Hunger. When you talk of evangelism, when you think of things of God, leave every other thing. When you're talking of the deeper life, women mirror, she bought them, she used to buy them in thousands. Just loads. And everybody who come to her house to take, anywhere she goes, she's going to business, say carrying magazine, carrying tracks, and distributing to people, talking to people. She's always talking about Jesus. I always want to talk about scriptures. And she encourages all of us. Make sure that each one of us have a Bible in the office. So she was a woman spent her life in the service of God when it comes to her attachment with the church. So that is my honor for you. Mrs. Beatrice Ebonano Ona slept in the Lord on the 21st of January 2016. When I had a brother passing away through my sisters and brothers over the US, I was devastated. At first, it didn't seem to and uh, you know, I was confused. Am I is, am I hearing well? Was there is, was there anything wrong with me? Is it real? Because it looks unbelievable. I find a woman who we pray together, spends minutes and hours in the phone. We pray together. In the New Year, she called me. I called her, and uh, we all celebrated that it's uh, my son. I made it. I said, Bobby, you made it. And you make it. All of a sudden, to now hear that, that she has, see, she has done what? Done what? You see, she has passed on to glory. I said, no. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't hold the tears. And for some 30 minutes, I was actually crying alone. It was beyond feeling. But you have to let go sometimes. Yes. But what do we do? She is survived by her husband, Rear Admiral Michael O. Ona, six children, a brother, and three sisters. Speaking for the family, we actually lost someone very dear to us. We are going to miss her. I wish she was still around, that I could show her more appreciation. We're going to miss her. We miss her, but. We know she's in a better place. I thank God for that, and by the grace of God, we'll see someday. We shall meet at the Lamb's Supper in a fellowship that has no end. Where she will not have any illness or disease, we'll be in perfect health, we'll laugh together in the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. So we are believing God to see her. I love you, and I so miss you, and my heart is so broken that you're not here anymore. I wish you was here. I miss you. I really do miss you. God bless you. God bless you, Mama. God will bless you. Everything you did. I'm sorry. I, at all times, I'm emotional about these things, you know? You know, it's, it's a pity she's gone now. Um, you know, we, we have a very heavy heart. Oh. I be fetch good Danny. I'm going to child. Hi. The legacy you've left, God will bless you. And I say, may your soul rest in peace. Ah. For all who have had the privilege of knowing Madame Beatrice, from her beloved family who shared her life directly to the many others who experienced her beautiful spirit, hers will always be a life 
not only to be celebrated, but also to be emulated. I will advise or ask the children and my brother Mike Honor to take solace that God's decision nobody can query it. The only courage I have is that I know she made it. We believe God with all our hearts. We are fully persuaded that Momiona was able to make it. For that, we say, Mommy, you are victorious. Yes, you are, Mom. You are victorious. Yes, you, are you are victorious. Mom. You are victorious. You are victorious. You are victorious. God bless you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, Mama, till we meet again at the Lord's Supper Table. Thank you.